guys, and welcome back to my world. Now, um, I'm going to use Bob here today. Hey, come back. Where are you going? No, no. Okay, if you don't want to play ball, you're going to die. Okay, sorry. Um, I'm going to use Bob's brother here today <laughs> to help me show you guys how... Um, well, a, a new concept that I was working on recently. It was not really new. Bob, come back. Um, okay, so today I'm going to show you... I'm going to use Bob's second cousin over here, Bob, to... Um, show you a new oopsie this is another bob oh too many bobs bob bob me bob okay here we go um to kind of show you guys this concept for a uh jumping mine cart now you would have seen this concept uh used in some of my other videos uh, especially the shoot me shoot me shoot me you can't shoot me type video um and but i just thought i'd build one for you okay hold on there we go so this map will be downloadable so do check out the description for the download of this map so there you see boom um and i'm just using some of the new particle commands and firework commands just kind of sprucing up to really spruce up people's roller coasters so i think roller coasters seem to be quite a big thing at the moment um now this was the how to do this was the question was asked by um fire rockers studio um and this map was then built by Urkfer. Uh, she's a great little builder and sorry i only saw your uh, i saw your contraption underneath there uh underneath here earlier today so i didn't me and fire rockers haven't actually been on at the same time so yeah thank you very much for for the map um so it is very very straightforward to do okay it's all down to the new uh the new at e command so what i'm doing is i'm teleporting an entity that is a type mine car mine cart rideable now this is very very important if you just teleport a mine cart it's not going to actually teleport the the, the entity inside the mine cart if you just teleport the entity it's not going to uh, teleport the mine cart so you do need to teleport the entity mine cart rideable okay and then you just need to kind of play around and see which direction you want to teleport it um, and then just set it up so that it kind of looks as smoothly as as possible. So luckily over here, I only I needed two two teleports. So the first teleport teleported me one block up and two blocks across. And then after a one uh, a two tick delay, uh, it teleported me another one block up and three blocks across. Okay, he should be he should be nearing me again, so I can show you guys what I mean. Um, is he coming? Is he coming? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? So you should very clearly see, here it comes, you'll see it teleports once, and then twice, and then across. So it creates a very nice, smooth, smooth effect. The way you activate it is just by using an activator rail. Okay, so it'll act, hit the activator rail, the activator rail will then set off this um, redstone dust over there, which will then set off this command block, which will then activate uh, the repeater, which will then activate that command block over there. Now you'll just need to add the longer your distance is, you'll need to go, the more um, command blocks you will need to add to, to this to make it actually work. Um, one of these timings is very, very off, which I did deliberately just so you can see what it looks like if the timing is off. Okay, so we can wait for Bob to come around once more. Okay, come on, Bob. Come on, Bob. Do me, do the jump. Whee! That timing is not too bad. This timing is pretty good, I think, as well. Yeah, that's a good timing. Very, very good timing. This timing is very, very off. Okay, so he's going to come around. Come on, Bob. Come on, Bob. There we go. Oh, that was actually not too bad. Okay, so that's very straightforward, very, very easy. Maps in the download. Um, look for the look for these activator rails. If you find them, okay, look directly underneath them to kind of figure out where the the command blocks are. I mean, I built this. I, I, I wired up the map in like half an hour. Okay. Oh, one other thing I do want to show you. They've added a new feature in 14W05A which allows you to actually um, dislodge entities from minecarts, okay? Um, so let me see, Bob's gonna take a while to get this. Follow Bob around one more time, one more time. Uh, while we're waiting for Bob, uh, you'll see there's buttons over here at the start where you where you will teleport. Um, if you click on it, it'll just at the bottom take you to our various channels. Uh, if you want to, this link over here is just this particular video. Um, okay, hold on, Bob is coming. So if I turn on this little lever over here, I'm going to then activate this um, uh, activator. Is this, is this what's this called? The activator rail. And you'll see Bob just kind of got off. It just kind of wiggles 
Wiggles bob off. So if I just break the rails on the two sides and I put a minecart on there, you'll see it creates that weird little shaking motion in a minecart. Look, do -do 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 -do. oopsie, and it pushes it off. See? So that dislodges any any kind of entities on it. Cool, guys, that is that is really it. Very, very straightforward, very, very simple command. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. And as always, I will check you all later.